because getting on his records is like the highest standard. He cuts the very best songs, and he also will record a song that he's not a writer on, which is kind of rare for a really good writer like Kenny Chesney, but um, he takes those chances. And so it's always fun to be writing for him and hoping that you, uh, you know, throw him something that he's interested in because you know you've, you've done something good. Okay, Jennifer wants to know, do you just have a new song lyric pop in your head all the time? And what percent do you feel like are any good? I have lyrics pop into my head a lot. Um, it's sort of like, I uh, see dead people. It is in every conversation or when I'm trying to go to sleep or when I wake up and I always have to grab my phone because if I don't, I will forget. And what percentage of them are good? 100. Okay. Uh, Meg, I'm, t I'm clearly kidding about that. Uh, probably a very small percentage of them are good, honestly. Uh, because a lot of times when you come up with a lyric in the moment, if you don't write the song right then, you don't even remember what your motivation was or your inspiration. So sometimes I'll look back I have a lyric in my phone and I'll think, what was this even about, you know? So uh, it's a 10 or 15% probably. Okay, Meg, hello. What are two females in the entertainment industry that inspire you, artists and business? Uh, I'm inspired by a lot of females actually. Um, artists, uh, I'm really inspired by Adele. I think she's incredible. I think she's really good at being herself and she's done everything on her terms, and, um, and her music is incredible. Business person, um, I mean, Oprah, you know, and maybe, and maybe she surrounded herself with good business people, but it just seems like every move a rock one with her, and uh, I really look up to her. Pam, who is your favorite go-to writing partner? Um, definitely Josh Osborne is somebody that I know that I can take any idea to, and as crazy as it might sound, as out there as it might sound, he sort of can see into my brain because sometimes I'll say something that would make no sense to anybody else and he'll go, I know how we can do that. And it's, it's actually pretty amazing when you find someone that you can work with like that. Jim wants to know the best way to get a publishing deal. Oh gosh, to write. I mean, you just have to write songs. I know that that sounds so obvious, but the truth is, it is so hard to get anyone to pay attention to you until you have a song that absolutely, undeniably, everybody wants to get their hands on. When you have that, the publishing deal will follow. I mean, it's, it's always what happens. Uh, the song will be heard somewhere, and every time that someone hears it, they'll say, that's a hit, and they'll want to sign you. Callie wants to know who my dream artist to work with is that I have not gotten to work with. Um, uh, Adele is the person I would most like to work with. I also really would love to work with Eric Church. Uh, I've, I've worked with Eric Church on a project called Forever Country where I produced a track that he sang a piece on, but I've never gotten to write a song with him, and um, I love his record, so I think he's incredible. Leah is asking, what song are you most excited about everybody hearing on the Old Dominion album. A lot of the songs have been released uh, before the album that were my favorites. Never Be Sorry is my favorite Old Dominion song, I think, of all, of all time, and, and some people do is right there with it. I just think those two songs are completely opposite ends of the spectrum, but really uh, tell a nice piece of their story, and I love the melodies and the way Matthew sounds on them in the band, you know, did great on those songs. I love a song on the record that no one's heard yet, called um, Hear You Now. It's a song we wrote um, one morning and recorded that afternoon. It was the same way we did Make It Sweet. And um, it's kind of a cool concept that we wrote the song that day and then recorded it. So I'm excited to see where everybody thinks about it. It kind of has a Fleetwood Mac vibe.